So we start out as babies. We are unwise. We are unwise to the fact that we are pure existence. We are one with the source. Consciousness. And then as we grow, as time goes on, we start to realize that there are appearances of other things, mother, father, siblings, food, everything. And we learn that, that we are here and everything else is there. We learn that we are susceptible to pain and suffering. We learn that we prefer some emotions to others. The experience may be uncomfortable in some situations and the others are more comfortable. During that time, a virus sneaks in and it sneaks into everyone. The virus of happiness. We prefer. We have preferences. The current experience is labeled as not good. We prefer another. We have pain, grief, suffering. We prefer another. This idea, an image to run towards of something that is better than what we have immediately. That experience has failed us. Experience is not good enough. Experience hurts. So we would prefer to move away from that hurt to something else. This is a sickness that all humans get and not many humans overcome. This is the cause of all suffering, all repression, all trauma, all of it. The want to be happy or the want for things to be different, the avoidance of your immediate situation or experience. If we were to face our experience and be our experience at all stages, whatever comes up, comes up. It's not labeled as bad or good or uncomfortable or whatever. It just is. Sometimes there's experiences of grief. Sometimes we laugh. Sometimes we're scared. Just energetic movement within the body. Energies within us and surrounding us that we cannot change. The more we try to change, the sicker we get. We need to face everything that we are, everything that we have been, everything that's trapped. Because we are sick. We learnt from sick people who they themselves learnt from sick people. We all believe and we all try to make other people believe that we can be happy. That there's something else other than our current experience that's better that we need to move towards. 
So our consciousness avoids what's happening now and it moves itself onto a thought, onto an idea or onto an energy. It moves away from the present moment <clears throat> into imagination. And whatever was in the present moment, whatever was coming up for us, becomes trapped in the body. So we walk around stiff like robots. We can't be honest. We can't communicate clearly. We don't know what we want or who we are. We're full of pain and suffering and conflict. We're selfish. We're angry. We're depressed. All because we chase happiness. To solve this issue, we need to be with our experience in its fullest. Whatever happens is perfect. Whatever you feel is perfect. Feel it. Think all the things that you don't want to think. Feel all the things that you're afraid to feel. Maybe you never feel angry. Feel angry. Maybe you're scared to cry. You've got to cry. Maybe you're anxious all the time. So why not just sit there and be as anxious as you can possibly be? Be fearful of everything in its fullest. Be conscious of the body. Wherever this, these things are in the body, the chest, the stomach, the heart, And allow whatever needs to come up to come up. Maybe there are thoughts that scare you. Thoughts that horrify you. There's reasons for them. Maybe you were oppressed. Maybe you became resentful because you weren't honest with someone. You chose to do something that you didn't want to do just to avoid conflict. Your true self has been trapped by these choices and it's angry. So these angry thoughts have a legitimate place because you're choosing someone else over yourself to avoid having to face your own emotions. So let's face them. Everything there's no option. There is sickness. There is chasing happiness. Or there is reality. There is what's happening. There is the allowance of what's happening in its fullest. <clears throat> 